What's up, YouTube? It's Aaron Page. I'm back with another video for you guys today. So this guy named Dr. Brown, I don't know about him too much, but I did watch this video and I already love the guy. He is apparently like crazy logical in Hebrew history and biblical history. And he has like this radio show and he had a Hebrew Israelite, a black Hebrew Israelite call on the show. And they had a little bit of discussion. I'm not about to get into it. I'm gonna let you watch the video and get your own understanding. So let's go ahead and hop into this video right now. All right, let's go over to Kenwi, somewhere in North Carolina. Welcome to the line of fire. Okay, so first thing first, I just want to say all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, who is our Heavenly Father, Baha Shem, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world so-called ignorantly Jesus Christ. By the um, by the way, can I, can I just say that you just every all your Hebrew pronunciation is a hundred percent wrong according to ancient Hebrew. Just want to let you know that since you called others ignorant, yo, one hundred percent wrong was according wrong. to ancient Hebrew. One hundred percent. Wow. He already going in on him, man. That's it. Ain't, it's only thirty four seconds. Already going in on him. <laughs> Dang, this dude is brutal. Mathematically, morphologically wrong. One hundred percent according to ancient Hebrew, which I read fluently. <sighs> Wow. Just being honest with you. Right. Just being honest with you. What makes what makes you think it's wrong? I know it's wrong because we know vowel structure from the ancient languages. We can we we your, know I'm pretty sure well okay, so what's your answer to the ancient Hebrew name of, of our heavenly father? So, Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Yahweh and Yeshua. Yeshua is fixed, we know that for certain. See, that's no, where you're no, wrong because that's where you're wrong because there's no you in the ancient Hebrew, Peleleu. Yeah, yes, there is. In, in, of course there is. You're 100% ignorant. Okay? This is my field. I've got a PhD in it. I'm, Dang. I'm sorry, y'all. He said you're 100% ignorant. He ain't saying like, oh, man, like, bro, you're you're a little off. Bro said you're 100% ignorant. Dang, you call on this show coming at this guy. He already has an agenda. We know it. They always do. He calls on there and he's ignorant of the language. That's an L, man. That's an L. I read it fluently in the original scripts, the original languages. Of course, there's an ooh sound. Absolutely. I, I can prove it categorically. I can prove it by comparative data from, from Akkadian. I can prove it with comparative data from other inscriptions. I can prove <laughs> it from development of the language in Hebrew and Syriac okay, and well, Aramaic and Arabic, I'm none of here. which none of which you know, and all of which I know. Sir, with all due respect, I'm not here to argue on... Um, What's the real name? Wow. Okay, but you started okay. with that name and called others ignorant to say Jesus Christ. It merited an honest response from me. Isn't that right, fair? That's, that's you you led know. with it. I told you it's completely wrong. But by all means, go ahead with your point, please. All right. So earlier you were talking about how Jewish people were getting considered like being like evil and all that. No, it's a juice like everybody else. We, we've sinned and we've come under divine judgment and we've been lied so about. Just that, like just like black people. people. Go ahead. Excuse me? No, go ahead. Go ahead. So you were, you were saying how the Jewish people were called evil in today's society and they are because they are not. They are the synagogue. No, you're the synagogue of Satan, actually. You claim to be a Jew and you're not. You you're the synagogue of Satan. Dang. My guy said he's the synagogue of Satan. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, if you're not um, tuned with the Christian faith, those are fighting words. Those are fighting words. You, you call somebody like a sin, like you're part of the synagogue of Satan. That's like saying like, bro, you're not even a Christian. You're not even saved, bro. You don't even know God. That's the equivalence. That's crazy. You're a you you, you, a sir, you yeah you are the synagogue of Satan because you claim to be a Jew Behold, and you're not. Can 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 we can we can we? You claim to be a Jew, and you are not, and you oppose those like me who preach the gospel of Yeshua. That makes you a member of the synagogue of Satan. You claim to be a Jew slash Israelite, and you are not. So I, I pray the Lord brings you to repentance and salvation. Uh, Jews are as evil and as good as everybody else. We have good qualities, bad qualities, just like every other person on the planet. That's reality. But you, sir, would be a perfect example of synagogue of Satan, opposing the true preaching of the gospel 
and claiming to be a Jew when you are not. Just being candid with you. Wake up. Wake up. All my peoples, all Here my we go. Hispanics and Native Americans, I need to come into this truth and know what your bloodline is. We are a Hebrew Israelite. We do not come from these so-called people that call us African Americans. We do not come from two continents. We are not Hispanic. We are not Native Americans. We are Hebrew Israelites. And that's what I come here to say today on 105.7. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you for calling in and giving a plug for the station. But that's thank you. Thank you for the call. This is a perfect illustration of the intellectual, moral and spiritual blindness that hangs over these people for whom Jesus died and for whom I pray. That's the level of deception. And can we here's a fact which I say to you, the wake up call is for you. The awakening is people realizing the corrupt seed that is behind your teaching. The waking up is people realizing how much vile hatred circulates among so-called Hebrew Israelites. And there's a reason, sir, that DNA is against you. There's a reason that history is against you. There's a reason that archaeology is against you. There is a reason that language is against you. And that's because the 12 tribe charts is 100 percent bogus. Now, right now, you're not in the state of mind to hear. May the Lord calm your heart and mind and bring you to a place of repentance. But others are thinking and wondering. Here's what I encourage you to do. Dig deeper. Yes, it's dangerous to go against the crowd of radical Hebrew Israelites. It, 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 you may get intimidated. Follow the truth wherever it leads, because the truth is going to set you free. And this is another perfect example. Wow. Man, that was that was that was tough. That was crazy. Um, clearly, Dr. Brown knows what he's talking about. Um, we all know about the Hebrew Israelites. And real quick, don't leave, okay? I know some of y'all like to watch it and leave. Hear what I gotta say, okay? Um, this the mindset of the Hebrew Israelites, and I'm not talking about every single one. I don't really know many of them. I think there's a church. Uh, on the west side of my 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 city that has uh, it's like a Hebrew Israelite church. I've never been in it. I may actually go to there, man. Let me know if y'all really want me to do some stuff like that. Like if y'all want me to go outside of my studio, let me know. Like give me suggestions. Like oh, you should do this because like I can't think of everything. I need y'all's help. The mindset that they have is the reason why we have so much diversion. We have so much collision within the church. Is because we have. One set of people who have their own certain beliefs, right? And they are not willing to change it. They're not willing to, like, come together on specific topics. They only want to hear their side, and they only want to live by that. And then with them, their side actually goes, it actually, like, brings pain and suffering to the other side, right? Because, like, the Hebrew Israelites, like, they don't necessarily believe, like, like that Caucasian people are of God. You know what I mean? And I just don't think that's true. Um, when we talk about facts and we talk about uh, the history, you know what I mean? I No, a lot of those people weren't Caucasian, but Rome and Greece wasn't far from Egypt. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't like it was across the world. We can't just like say that one specific crowd is just not of God. Like that's, that's painful. It's hurtful to, to say if you're Caucasian and you hear that it's painful because you're like, okay, like, so I'm just not a child of God because you said so. And it's honestly, I think they're wrong. You know what I'm saying? And their beliefs and the, the hatred, like he said, the hatred that it brings is just absurd and it's demonic. I believe Dr. Brown digs deeper into the whole situation on his channel. Go check his channel out. I know Mike Winger and um and Alan Parr, Pastor Alan Parr, they also had a, have a um they had did a little video about it, like an hour long video about the whole thing about the Hebrew Israelites and they dug really deep into it, deeper than I can go because I don't have that much knowledge as these guys. I'm, 28 i gotta get more knowledge but um they got a lot more knowledge than i do so if you really want to hear more about the hebrew israelites and what they believe and how to kind of talk to them and stuff like that and just everything about their history go ahead and check uh mike winger's channel out or check alan parr's channel out and also dr brown and you'll be able to get much more information um but man this is crazy this kind of stuff right here brings so much division among the, the church that is insane i pray that one day we can get rid of all this and just really just love god and worship and just live life, like, just live life together, you know what I mean, but, um,
that's all I got for today. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Let me know about what, what you think about the video in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. If you like the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And, you know, just go ahead and leave a like, man, so that YouTube can push this out to more people. Uh, really hit that subscribe button for me. I'm trying to get to like 5,000 subscribers. I've been at like 4,100 for like a month and a half, two months now. So if you can help me get there, I would truly appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching again. My name is Aaron Page. And until next time, I'm out.